Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aries, what we have is the high priestess in career and finance. All right, so you, some of you can work from home. Some of you have that little voice speaking to you about what you should be doing, how you should be working for yourself, or you should make some independent work your 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 goal for 2022. You know, um, you should do something, you know, I don't know if it's independent contractual work, but there should be something that you govern, that you control. You control uh, your earning potential. You also are the, um, you are your own boss here. You also will be uh, trading your time, uh, you know, on your essence, on your time, on your terms for money. Because that's all working is. You're trading time for money. That's the exchange. And it says here that you'll be able to do that on your own terms, okay? So if you like working early in the morning, you can do that. If you like working at night, if you like working midday, if you only want to work two hours out of the day, you'll be able to do that if you do independent work. Um, it's See, the high priestess is all about independence and flowing and doing as she or he pleases. So it's about you know, in your career and finance, you may work from home. There may be an idea that has been resting with you for a very long time, that still voice that speaks to you about what you're really good at and how you need to capitalize on it, how you need to monetize it, how you can monetize it. You either dismiss the voice or you actually act on it. And that's the high priestess. It says that the high priestess will, um, sit with you for a lifetime until you actually want to do something the high priestess says also find the riddle figure out the riddle in your life here uh the high priestess in your career and finance some of you could be into bookkeeping work uh, you could be a bookkeeper accountant or something of that nature or if you're not that in its entirety then you do something where you keep track of or you're tracking or something is tracking or i don't know you know um you may even track people, I don't know, uh, with the high priestess here. There's an intuitive or inner knowing. Some of you may even do some, you know, esoteric work, tarot card, uh, you know, spiritual work here. And you're getting downloads from spirit or your psychic abilities are heightening, okay? Make sure you are paying attention to your dreams and you're writing them down. In love and romance, you have the king of wands here. So you have somebody looking directly at you. You would be the other woman here. You would be the woman who doesn't have the title. This king of wands is looking at you, desiring you. You're highly desirable at this point because maybe you are not talking to, you're not engaging with this person. You're not giving them the, the time of day, the attention that they desire. You're in their heart's desire. If your heart isn't right, then your desires aren't right, correct? So you may be dealing with someone whose desires are just not right, you know, especially if they're already committed. And most times you'll find the king of wands is committed. Most times married. Uh, the king of wands could be wanting to come to you. There's a, a level of unattainability. I don't know if you put up boundaries or blockers or you block, you're blocking this out because it's not what you want or they're not showing up in the capacity that you want them to. But somebody is directly desiring time, energy, effort, a night with you, okay? The Six of Cups is uh, the universe's advice here. Um, do keep in mind, you know, don't romanticize the past here. Or you can, but rest in that energy. Accurately process those emotions and move forward. To work backwards. Well, you know, the Six of Cups does talk about connecting backwards. Maybe you will reconnect with someone from your hometown, from, a, you know, the time you grew up, maybe from your young adult years or just a past relationship. But when you do reconnect with them, understand where you stand with them. Don't romanticize the relationship to what you want it to be. 
but understand what the person is saying to you completely, entirely in their emotions, in their actions, in their words. Because them desiring you or you're desiring them, whatever it may be, can be very temporary. So the universe doesn't want you to make permanent decisions off of temporary feelings, either from you or the other person. It says declutter, declutter your heart and your mind space. If you want to tell somebody that you love them, say, I love you. If you want to, this also could be a father here. Um, there, there is an energy of somebody from your past. They just can't get over you. Okay. And they're missing you a whole lot. They want you to fall in love with them or they want to sweep you off your feet. They want to, you know, say the sweet nothings. They want that energy back because it feels good. Again, back to temporary. Okay. I say temporary because we had a hookup on the weekend. So somebody wants you in that capacity of part-time, the high priestess, hooking up when they're available, when they have time, when it's good for them, because the feeling is good for them. You know, I don't know if you're going to get exactly what you want. The cards say take a passive approach in reconnecting and making a decision about this person because they can leave you all in your head again understand your worth and understand what you bring to the table and understand that maybe you just need to take a firm stance in terms of a masculine energy who you do have a love for but it might not be reciprocated not in the same capacity so you might need you need to you might need to take a real firm stance in terms of dealing with this person this is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy L a Coffee link. Um, you can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also uh, come learn the tarot with me. Tarot classes are linked below, yep. And I have an Amazon wish list. If you feel, in the mood or you feel moved to purchase something for the channel please do so thank you guys take care many blessings to you